Okay, here's what you use. This is what you use. If you're going to paint 20 cars, you'd be buying a couple boxes of this stuff for door jams. And you've seen me use it in prior videos on blends. And this is what it looks like out of the box. And this is a little round piece of foam. And it has sticky stuff on it. So it'll stick. And when you get down to this much and you need more and it's Sunday, you start to say, oh no. And this is what I'm saying is, oh yeah. I'm saying, oh yeah. The name of this stuff is Frost King. Let's see if we can find your part number because it's important. Polyfoam Cock Saver. And what it is, it's 20 feet by a half inch. This is 50 yards by a half inch for about $58. This is 20 feet by a half inch and it costs mm, maybe 5 bucks at Home Depot. And I'm really going to try to get you to see what this is. Because the guys, there's I know about five guys who are painting cars right now. And they shouldn't need to have to go and buy a whole box of this 3M stuff. I mean, it would be the thing to do. I'm gonna, hey, V, can you hold the camera for me, please? I want to show them oh, yeah. how this is going to work. Okay, I have it. This will help. I have a helper. I got a helper. I'm lucky. So I ran out. And I took the contents, I just stuck them in there. All that came in that little bag. Then I broke off a piece that was fitting here. That's the size I need. If you remember in the other videos, and even if you don't remember, I'll tell you, that the, this stuff, you can put it up there and it will stick by itself. Mm -hmm. And then it will disappoint you. It will get it'll get warm or something, the glue will let go and it'll fall down on the fender. So I was saying before to always back it up with tape to, to have a second way to tape. Now this got no sticky on it. And I'll show the name again or you're gonna have to rewind. No sticky. So you gotta put your own sticky. And the way I'm gonna do it, first time is the best, they'll say. I'm just gonna go like this, I'm gonna put some uh, little pieces of tape to help give me an outline to hold it up there and it's probably boring the hell out of somebody that's okay I'm more interested in helping those guys doing completes after they do their door jams you want to put this inside a door jam so that only that is peeking through and you won't get that hard edge this is what this stuff is designed for door aperture tape is what it's called this stuff for about four or five bucks, you get 20 feet of it, probably enough to do a, a car. See, all I did was kind of outline where I want it to go. Right. Now, I'm going to set it in there, and I'll show you the result, because I kind of did this already. And that's when I said, I want to do a video about that. That's some good, that's going to work. That's great. There's a couple points I want to make about this stuff. So, right now, it's sitting like the 3M stuff would be sitting. And you could be happy to think that you could blow your blend right there. And the idea is it swirls the paint and the air. and doesn't give you that hard line. And as recommended with the other stuff that has the soft stick to it, I'm just going to come in here and finish it off so I'm sure it's going to stay right there. Now bring your camera in here, hon, so they see this is what we're after instead of a hard tape line. Mm. Okay? Okay. Another thing I saw about this, and I'm not a salesperson, is I have prior experience with using the 3M foam tape. And I'd get it in the wrong place, and I'd want to move it. And I'd go and pull the tape to move it, and a big old chunk of foam would rip out of the tape. Now this, this stuff, I've got tape on there, and it's coming off no problem. I don't know if there's some kind of something to keep it together better or what now 3m got their act together it also does not have that little seam there's a little seam on the other stuff a line where they kind of fold it over it's got no seam it's like it came out you know extruded somehow and however they made it I like it and I like like the price a lot and I want to get this out there so some other people know about it
I'm not saying you have to do it this way. I'm just letting you know when I know. I'm letting you know when I know. See that? If you come, mm -hmm. all the color's going to be here. All the color will be here. Little color, little color here, here. This will be just clear coat only, and I want that clear to bounce around. That will probably be over, back on the line. So, I like it. You can tape on it. You'd reinforce the other stuff anyways. I'm not putting this down. I don't know if I'll buy more of this stuff. So that's where I'm at with this. I like to put it in there and say that's that because I do more blends and bikes anyway. So that product is at the top of the Milo Garage product list and it's from Frost King Poly Foam Cock Saver. You would use this for caulking a crack, I guess, and then shoot it. The other product, and I don't know. I'm going to plug today is going to be a commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> this is my idea of a break right here. Damn it. Before I get too angry. These are just like regular old morphine patches or the other patches that keep you from getting sterile or whatever. This one just keeps a little nicotine in the system. Which arm did I have it on last? Yeah. And I just switch arms. I put that on. And I put on another one tomorrow. But I'm using them even though I don't feel like smoking. I went through the psychic change. I just stopped smoking on the 4th of July. Yeah. I, there's some people with me. I don't know if they started smoking again or not. I also made the video because I wanted you to know that I'm still cool. I didn't just run and hide because I'm out back having a smoke <laughs> or something. I've just totally just stopped smoking. I use the, uh, the vaporizer uh, with coffee in the morning. I don't even have it with me. I'm not even going to puff on it for you. You have to go do that yourself. The smoking thing, we're at about 14 to 16 days. Something like that. Past two weeks. Yeah. I want to get that 21 days because I know that... that oh, my back. Uh, 21 days. That's, if you get 21 days, you don't want it anymore. And, and already that first two weeks, things are tasting better, smelling better. I got energy. More stuff is getting done. I'm getting rid of some stress in my life. You know why? Because I find what, what triggers me to smoke is stuff that pisses me off. And you know what? Get rid of the stuff that pisses me off. Fire them. You're fired. You know how I act when I'm doing business with you? I will fire you. <laughs> Feels good. Should we cut that out of the video or leave in the truth? Leave the truth in. Leave the damn truth in there. Don't let these people push you around. There's some rules. Painters have rules. Rule number one is if you give a painter your stuff to do, you don't call him and ask him when it's going to be done. That's rule number one. Rule number two is you don't try to get the price lower after you started the project. You better know that in front. Rule number three is you answer emails. If you're doing business with a business that does email, you answer that. Rule number four is you don't piss off the painter. And rule number five is all of the above. <laughs> Do the right thing. Set some boundaries. Don't let these fuckers push you around. I didn't say that either. Remember, <laughs> we're waiting for that 21 days to get back to all good. I'm not smoking. I don't smoke. I'm not doing it. You got to rewind if you want to know. But we're going to give this a shot. I don't believe the thinner is going to make it dissolve or do anything crazy. And in the end, I'll probably reuse it for a crack somewhere in the paint booth. See you later. I got to run.